Hey guys, it's Shadow here. I've been hearing that people aren't fully, I don't know, they just don't understand or Bungie hasn't fully explained it very well. But a lot of people are wondering how the heck I got the bow and the sword already. That's impossible. And also the auto. But you get them from from these engrams from the umbral engrams so the cool part is with these if you have the special uh, consumables they're called altered elements you can use them to change the umbral engrams into a specific type. So, uh, the next couple seconds, I will look through them and show you where how I got these. Because I came on yesterday and just kind of looked around and figured out what was new. And this was one thing that I was really exciting because as someone who has pretty much, I'm so close to 2,000 hours on this game. You tend to end up having everything that you can get from from all of the vendors and such. So, yeah, it's nice to be able to change it. So there is the Prismatic Recaster. And so this thing is cool because you can... Ooh, what's this? Dealing damage to the sword gives you bonus sword damage for five seconds. Okay, cool. So in here, you have this this focusing abilities. So I can't actually do it right now, but each just because I don't have enough altered element. But each um, <clears throat> each focus engram has a particular thing in there that you can get. So like the dredgen focused has a new night watch, new gnawing hunger. hunger lonesome and bad omens i already have i have an old god tier gnawing hunger so i'm gonna be tr be rolling this to get to try and get this night watches is, is a helpful thing when randy's gets knocked out or gets sunsetted and so yeah there's four so the legacy seasons are cool because it brings back two weapons from the last seasons so it's optative and temporal gaze claws gaze which is honestly the worst machine gun ever made so i don't know why they brought that back of course they brought back martyr's retribution which is a grenade launcher that i can't stand breach light optative are very good these two are all right but we literally just got out of it so there's no reason you guys should have it if you don't this is how you get it and then there's armor focused which will give you all of the new set which is one of my favorite titan sets so far because it's just so like just it's so futuristic and this is where i'm getting all my weapons so you so you get the the auto rifle the fusion the bow and the sword and then the cool catch is when you get these two from the battle pass, you can then re get re-rolls from this engram, which is very helpful. Because who knows what the roll is going to be on there, and it's going to be maybe absolutely garbage. So then, then there's this improved arsenal, so it's even better. And so these are like rifle focus. So it either has uh, the fusion or the auto. So they make it so you can cut it down to if you want, okay, I am literally want this auto with this perk, but you don't want to get any other any of the other weapons because you already have good ones. So this shut, closes it down, but you have to get to the battle pass before you can do that. So yeah, this one is uh, the sword or the bow. This one is the pulse and the sword when you do end up getting there. Uh... This one is cool as well because it gives you only the worthy, the two worthy weapons to choose from. 
So there's the two Dawn weapons, the two Undying weapons, and then there's these. They literally take everything on the fr first Engram and cut it down into two. So then it's the rocket and the sidearm. So I'm going to be doing this one quite a bit to get a bit another gnawing hunger. And then this is cool. The armor, it gives you certain armor pieces, but it's all of the stats are based off of for discipline. And then it continues up. I don't, I honestly don't know why they only have four pieces. Oh, that's, never mind. Because the cloak doesn't have mods on it. Doesn't have stats. <clears throat> so yeah, you get that. You do that. But the thing is, the only way to get those are by doing, or turning in these. And once you turn in all of these, then you can go up to the next one and the next one. So a lot of those are later game, later season things, but it's still pretty quick. So then, once you pick your engram, you come here. Hey there. Go ahead and deposit something loaded with darkness. And you turn them in. Because if you don't turn them in, you get these things. And no one really wants those. So, yeah. If I had, uh... <clears throat> if I had the right if I had altered elements I would be doing this for sure and so you get those altered elements by doing these these uh, bounties and like you get a lot for this one you get 500 pretty easy to get precision blows I used a bow this one just just go fight cabal do strikes Make sure you remember finishers. So all these are pretty easy. These ones only give out XP and very limited stuff. So I don't understand why that is the way it is. But yeah, once you uh, who is that? Once you do that a couple times, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, hope that helped everybody. Bye.